Here's some ideas how you can pull all of your pieces together and make your own vowel sound synthesizer. This version that I'm showing you is based on the band limited pulse generator contained in its own sub VI. I can specify its base frequency. 100 hertz is probably a good number. Um, I have a frequency spacing of only 40 hertz, so the band limited pulse is fairly dense. Here's my sub VI for the two pole resonator, and the bandwidths are proportional to the, the frequencies. And in this case, we see that the bandwidth gets a little bit narrower as you look at each uh, higher valued format. But these two pole resonators are calculating my F1, my F2, and uh, F3 formats. In this case, my IR filter is actually outside my sub VI, but you might have these packaged internally. And then you also need to scale the amplitudes. And so format 1 would have an amplitude of 1, format 2.5, uh, one third for the, the remaining one. Then I can select my different phonemes using this uh, so-called ring uh, control. And on the front panel, I can scroll through my different phoneme, na phoneme names, and then that structure back on the block diagram picks out which uh, collection of format frequencies we need. That sounds pretty good. It's the sort of thing where you, you probably get tired or sort sort of ear fatigue by listening to it for too long, but in, in short doses they sound sound quite good. Again, the band limited pulse will generate a high density wideband signal that then gets filtered by the resonators. Notice that the format frequencies kind of shift around, you get different amplitudes and relative bandwidths change. Changing the frequency of my band limited, or the fundamental frequency of my band limited pulse now. Rest your ears for just a moment. I have done a lot at 100 hertz, let's try this higher frequency once. So you can kind of experiment with some of these parameters yourself. Have fun!